guys and in this video you are learning cloud operation using react js as a front end and rest api P using php mysql as a backend so this is the part second of this video in the first video you have already seen that how uh, you can start react js as well as bootstrap so in case you have not followed the first video then i strongly recommend you that you first follow or my first video so in this video what i'm going to do is that this is the second part as i mentioned before so in this video i'm going to configure react routing so now that we have set up the project and also installed which tab our next step is to configure our router type the following command to install the react router dom module router is used to navigate the content without page refresh so let's write that code so the command is npm install react router dom hyphen hyphen c now let's press here control c and y and then cls and let's write this command the command is here npm install react router dom hyphen hyphen c so installing is started let's wait so now our router domain is tall now let's go to app.js file and we will do some modification there so here in this file this app.js which is inside src folder now let's write this code so router switch and then so these things will be uh, we will be implementing here deleting this code so now let's delete this one we will just keep this return okay this one so our function name is from here okay so simply let's delete this and then we will put here some more code for so here let's write this code and again router close all right and then this router close so everything will be inside this here now we will write further code inside this let's write this code container which is a bootstrap class name this class container okay so inside that we will write a code for a navigation and this one is code for a navigation I've started the code from here this nav to nav up to here okay so this is actually a bootstrap class so here, here I've written link to so this one is for home page okay and then class name this collapse this bootstrap class actually and then I have put here home link and then insert which will create a component later and then view so we have this link so far and then below this we will write code for our switching component so here you can see this is the interface that got created after writing the code so react cred example so we have three links currently here home insert and view now if you click here then you can see that the router is changing here in the above here so since we don't have any component related to that that's why no content is loading here below so now in the next step we will create this uh, component and also link to those components now our next code is this switch okay switch and then switch so we had three uh, components here insert edit and view so now we will create three components uh, so let's create the components okay here now let's create a folder called components we will put the code inside here inside component okay now let's go to here and create one new 
inside this component we will create a file called insert insert dot js here and another one view dot js and then add each dot js edit dot js we created here three files okay and apart from that we have included these three components these three files insert edit and view okay so the syntax is like this import insert edit view so these are the files and we don't write here dot js simply you write insert edit and view these are the files that you created just here inside components folder so that's why we have given here part is inside components then inside that there are three files here now let's go to this insert folder and we will create bootstrap form let's open here i'm opening this one inside my firefox browser so currently it's not working let me check what's the error control shift k So here seems to be error t is missing right so press t then let's check yeah welcome to insert component so now inside this in uh, insert dot js file here we have included here import react and then component from react and then export class insert so this is our class name okay extends component this is the base class of react js which we are extending and we are creating this child class of this uh, component class and then return and inside that return dib we have just written here welcome to insert component we will add more code here uh, later but for the time being to check if these are uh, pages these components are loading or not so that's enough to check so welcome to insert component we have just written this code so you also write the code inside your this insert.js file now also we will write code here inside edit and view as a placeholder which we will later replace with the actual code so inside our edit page we will write this code edit.component.js so our name is edit component simply so import react then component from react export class edit extends component return and then welcome to edit component so that's it we don't have much code uh, for the time being we have just placed this as a placeholder so that we, uh, we can see that if the routing is working or not so let's write this code into edit.js file so let's open this code edit.js and simply paste this code so here I can see the code is import react and component export class edit exchange component and then return and inside that we have just written one line of code welcome to edit component now let's try to check if it's working or not so this is the home page right and if I click on this insert then you can see here this router is working so similarly uh, for the time we don't have added uh, component here because we need ID for that but 
uh, we need to create one more component called uh, we need to write code here the view component here so let's write code in view component as well and this is the code we need to write inside our view.js file export class default view extends component render return div welcome to view component page so let's write this code into our view.js file let's paste the code here and then let's check if view is working or not so if I click on insert then this one is displaying here perfectly and when you click on this view then you can see this view component is loading okay so currently our insert and view and home also these three are working perfectly so edge you might be thinking what about the edit actually this edit component will be opening when we will pass id okay so we will work on this also in edit section and this one also we work it will work that time but the, but the, for the time being you can now understand that how this routing system work and also if this insert and view is working then of course this will work later as well so that's the end of our second video and in this third section we will be creating a bootstrap form for inserting data so stay connected to watch this video and don't forget to subscribe and uh, don't forget to press the bell button so that when I uh, you know uh, upload a new video you will get notification and you can watch my video in future so thanks for watching